Welcome to this short overview of CLSI MM13, Collection, Transport, Preparation, and Storage of Specimens for Molecular Methods, Second Edition. CLSI's Molecular Diagnostics Guidelines discuss the needs of molecular diagnostic testing laboratories and other laboratories that apply molecular methods to the study of nucleic acids in human samples or specimens. MM13, in response to the variety of specimen types, the many variables that can affect examination results, and the extent of molecular test methods, provides general principles for minimizing or eliminating pre-examination variables for all molecular tests and specimen types. This guideline is also intended to promote standardization of the pre-examination phase of testing and increase awareness of the specimen handling factors that affect molecular examinations. More specifically, the purpose of MM13 is to provide general technical principles for ensuring optimal specimen collection, transport, storage, and nucleic acid isolation for molecular diagnostic test methods. Describe specimen collection and transport devices, sample preparation methods, and optimal storage conditions, and special precautions for molecular methods and discuss quality management system principles that should be implemented to meet regulatory and accreditation requirements. The MM13 intended audience includes all healthcare professionals responsible for obtaining and transporting specimens from patients to preparing samples for molecular tests, and manufacturers of specimen collection devices and sample preparation reagents kits, and instrumentation. Although this guideline is intended for diagnostic testing, the principles may be applied to other areas. Since this guideline was first published in 2005, research and development in the pre-examination phase of molecular testing has advanced significantly, resulting in new or updated peer-reviewed publications, professional guidance, and international standards. Because the field continues to rapidly evolve, this guideline incorporates the mainstream advancements and best practices that are most appropriate for current clinical work. This guideline replaces the previous edition of the approved guideline MM13-A. Several changes were made in this edition, including providing pertinent information on specimen types in the text instead of in tables, adding subchapters on enrichment, adding a subchapter on evaluating post-extraction purified nucleic acids, and revising and updating subchapters on tissue preparation and cell-free DNA isolation and purification. The expanding discipline of molecular pathology is characterized by the rapid introduction of new disease markers and detection technologies. Nucleic acid targets are isolated from a wide variety of patient specimens, and the target's quantity and quality are highly affected by specimen collection, handling, and extraction methods. The matrix of variables associated with specimen type, nucleic acid target, and compatibility of sample preparation methods with downstream test methodology is complex. Accordingly, this guideline is organized with these complexities in mind and has been designed for laboratory personnel seeking a comprehensive, easy-to-use reference for molecular specimen handling. Optimal conditions for transport and storage are described, and recommendations for nucleic acid extraction procedures are provided when supported by published studies. In other cases, the experience of committee members or recommendations for manufacturers of commercially available products are used. Molecular diagnostic methods can themselves be highly variable, so it is important to minimize the pre-examination variables associated with specimen collection, transport, processing, and storage. One of this guideline's goals is to advance the standardization of pre-examination methods to support the growing list of molecular diagnostic assays, 
with the important caveat that any of these methods should be optimized or qualified for test systems incorporated into medical diagnostic testing. Laboratories and test developers are encouraged to carefully consider pre-examination variables when designing diagnostic test systems and adapt specimen collection, transport, and storage instructions accordingly. For additional information, please see the MM13 document. CLSI appreciates your interest in our standards and guidelines and thanks you for viewing this presentation.